everyone! Hi, it's Nikki and Rachel from the Sitch Sisters here and we are bringing you a very, very quick video. <laughs> Maze is very excited to see us. We've been out all morning fabric shopping. Yes. Um, in fact, we haven't been out all morning fabric shopping. We went to Fabricland in Bristol. It took us two hours to get there because of an accident on the motorway. Should be 20 minutes. Um, yeah. And uh, there and back in the time yes. it took us to actually get to Bristol this exactly. morning. Exactly. So, so, um, so we neglected. Um, yeah, she's feeling a bit neglected. Yes. Um, but we never do fabric hauls. And no. we did what we usually do, did today. She was just <laughs> licking the hair off me. <laughs> um, we... Um, we went, we went in with a list of three things and... Um, yeah, and three half metres Three half metres of fabric and, um, and we've been a bit naughty. So we yeah. thought we'd very quickly bring you an extra video this week and just show you... Um, a little haul. What and then, we bought, yes. And then when we got home, I had a fabrics delivery and a delivery of some special fabric for a trench coat that's ha that we are both making. But my fabric arrived today, so we'll show you that as well. Yes. So, yes. let's show you the fabric. So first Yay! of all, let me show you what we went in for. Come on, you're going to go what down. we went in for was simply uh, a half metre <laughs> of denim, denim uh, <laughs> and a half metre of cotton drill. And uh, these three are for a Union Jack patchwork cushion design class. that we're going to put up a class for yeah. um, for a, April or May, I think. Yeah. Um, so that's all we went in for. That was what we wanted to buy. Yes. That was about, what, about £9 worth of fabric? Yeah, the idea being we go in and buy it and sew it today, clearly. Yes. No sewing has been done no <laughs> um but we have bought some other things yes so uh i'll quickly whisk through mine because it won't take nearly as long oh. so this fabric here is the lining for my trench coat <gasps> so i bought um the isla trench coat pattern from named it's one of my mate nine um, yeah. and i bought this lovely blush colored cupro um from rainbow fabrics in lovely. kilburn um to make it out of um but i wasn't sure about a lining and then i saw this and it is kind of a more of a cream or beige color um but i think up against the blush you won't necessarily lovely. see that. No, no, no. It'll really... bring out the pinky tones in the background. Yes, and I do love the idea with a coat. When I made this coat, I was really boring and I just went for plain red lining. Yeah. Um, and um, and I just think it would be really fun to have. Yeah. I won't know it's in there, although I'll have to walk around like a flasher. Like, <gasps> everybody look at just, that. Just, oh, the wind has taken my coat again <laughs> and done that. Well, we've both got crazy lining. So I've got yes, crazy lining on so mine. I bought that. And then I also bought five meters of this <laughs> interfacing. This is the Violene um, H410, um, which is uh, the slightly stretchy stuff, um, but it's it um, it's a woven interfacing. Mm. Um, and because I'm using Cupro, the weight of the Cupro is quite light. I wasn't sure what weight it would be until it arrived. And yes. so I need to interface the whole jacket. I'm gonna interface yeah. every piece yes. so that it's got a little bit more structure. Can I just point out, we are actually still in our coats because we were so excited about showing you the fabric. That's why we're sitting yes, in our and, outerwear. And because it's got Nearly about 10 minutes before I need to go and get the kids, so we better talk fast. But, show them your buttons. Uh, oh, yes, your... my trench coat. So trench these coat. were an absolute bargain. So these tortoiseshell buttons here. So that's the big size. Um, so I got 12 of those. Um, they were? They were like 20p each or something. Um, and then I got um, the next size down and the next size down. So I'm going to need some smaller buttons that are for things like the um, the, 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 the toggles or whatever you yeah, call yeah. them, the placket thingies. Yeah. Um, I'm having a brain fart, yeah. so I don't know what they're called. Um, but the those things, things, on your arms. Those things <laughs> that you need to button down everywhere. Yeah. Um, but I'm also making an Ariel skirt over some leftover mustard denim. So once I've figured out the sizing, one of these will be for the skirt and one of one these will be jacket. for the little yeah. buttons on the jacket. It's fabulous. So that was a bargain because all of those, I've got about 20 buttons and I think they were about four quid. Three, four times. So. Absolute bargain. Yes. Um, next thing I bought was I made a Cali shirt the weekend. Um, well, so my Since style for March. Yeah. Um, the closet case Cali shirt, and I really enjoyed it. And I fancied one out of a proper shirting. So this one is a viscose blend shirting. So it feels really super soft and lovely. Lovely. Um, but I just thought that that might be quite fun to play with the stripes, have yes. the yoke going a different way, and the packet going a different way, and Very the pocket nice. and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So there's that one. I'm obsessed with mustard at the moment. So I couldn't resist this. <laughs> it's just a, a single jersey, viscose jersey, um, and it looks really cheap. It was cheap. It was four forty-four a metre, um, but I just think that will make a top of some description. I'm thinking Agnes with puffy, big puffy, puffy sleeves. sleeves. I've or done something one of the puffy from the ones, yeah. book, maybe. Possibly, yes. Yeah. So that was a must. And then I feel like there's been a, a hole in my wardrobe recently for just. Uh, black basic stretchy skirt of some description yeah i've got a few but they're proper poofy ones because they're made out of a really heavy textured jersey yeah and um i found this crinkle 
crinkle jersey which I've ordered before from Fabworks um, and it's exactly the same stuff that I got in Fabworks and I made an Astoria and I loved it mm -hmm. um, but when I saw that Fabricland had this I took what was left on the thingy and which is only two meters. Get, like, two meters um, but I'm thinking I might make a little black mini skirt and then I might make a sort of circle skirt or something but yeah something I can chuck on yeah um, very nice with lots of different things and then finally which leads me on to your first one as well. Yeah. Uh, we're making the ginger jeans. Yay! And I've seen so many people with fit issues of some yeah. description and I'm just a bit worried about um, diving straight in. So I'm definitely gonna do a 12, but obviously I think a wearable 12 would be more fun because then after all that effort, you actually get to wear it. Yeah, exactly. Um, so cheap so denim. Cheap denim. We've seen mm -hmm. some lovely denim from Fabric Godmother, which we'll make our actual jeans out of. Yes. Um, but this was 5.75 a meter um, and I went for the black um, nice. because I wear more black jeans than I do blue um, and uh, and so yeah that's for my ginger, ginger jeans, jeans wearable muslin that's Plus. it oh and shoulder pads a pair, of shoulder pads. a pair of shoulder pads because I made the Morris blazer over the weekend and I just feel with my sloping shoulders it will look a bit better if it's Exciting. got a little bit of help in the shoulder area yes so. That's they're, me they're done. Not big ones. Well, I've also got a meter off that black denim because I want to make another Erin skirt. Yes. I just wanted because the, the, all the ones I've made I'm not are let have it. <laughs> are sparkly denim because I got two different types of sparkly denim from Debates. But I just wanted a plain black one, so something very simple. Yeah, so that's kind of I'm lovely. stealing a meter of that. Um, I also have the indigo version to make my uh, ginger jeans. So this is the same denim, yeah. still stretch. But again, how much did you say it was? Five? That one was 6.69 a metre, so Six. a little bit more for the blue for some reason. Oh I'd God. already looked up online and uh, the reason I wanted to go for it is it does have 5% elastane. Um, yes. And I, I knew I wanted at least 5%. It's within. a nice quality. Any more than that and it's a whole different type of jean and any less than that and it's not comfy. So Yeah, so, so it's a nice blue, it's something I'd yes. wear. Excellent. And then, 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 what else it, did you get? It all went a bit wrong. <laughs> so I was just buying random stuff after that and I, we saw this lovely cotton linen um from in there and we just i just love the color didn't and i think i'm thinking for summer skirts this is what i'm thinking but it's actually really soft oh it's, it's lovely really lovely yeah. and i bought two meters no a meter and a half of that so yeah. i'm thinking some kind of straight uh summer skirt can i can pockets. i interject because you showed me a pinterest picture earlier yes. on and it was kind of a 70s style uh flared skirt and yes. it had little button plackets yes. on the side perfect Perfect for that, yes, yes. possibly, possibly, so that, something with that. And I said the holly burn would be perfect. So. Yes, and then we found, I found some stretchy ribbing for tops. So there's a metre and a half of this one, which is like this pale pink and grey, you might be able to see on there, which I just love. And I'm thinking the Tilly stretch book, so when that comes out, yes. I've got plans to make... I can't remember what that one is called. I can't remember what it's called, but it's a little top with like a little stand-up collar, like almost like a mini polo neck. And that's about as much of a stand-up collar as I can manage. Yeah. But with shorter sleeves, so like three-quarter length sleeves. That's so kind of I'm thinking it's this one. But also I bought this other one and I took what was left on the roll because I just love this. Yeah. Um, it's quite so a wide rib, that one, isn't it's it? It's quite a wide rib. It's really, it feels really yes. soft, actually. So there's only a metre of this. So, again, I think I'll be able to get a good something out of it. Yeah, definitely that style of top book. you'll get out of a metre. And then... <laughs> I just, this is what started it Can all. I just say before you show everyone this one, if you've watched The Greatest Showman recently, then <laughs> this will make sense. So, <laughs> the circus trousers! Circus trousers. I've bought three metres of this because I want to make some A paper bag suit. trousers. <laughs> out of it, but I want the stripes to go down my legs. And, you know, I'm five foot ten and I'm all leg. So um, I'm going to look like a giant. I'm going to make oh, myself look, look like look a giant. Oh, you're going to look awesome. And please, because I know you were asking recently on Instagram about patterns you could wear with braces. They need to be oh, worn yeah, with yeah. braces. That's They're definitely. They're screaming out screaming for braces. braces. So these will be the first ones for, for braces. But three metres of that. I'm just imagining just a big white ruffly sleeve shirt yes. and, uh, and braces. And or I'm, but I'm thinking a really, really tight white t-shirt. I know. Yeah. And then big trousers and yeah. braces. Nice. Braces with leather on. That's what I want. Okay. Um, and then was that fabric? That's fabric. That's land. fabric land. That's yes. fabric land. Then I came home, and my fabric has arrived from Also Crafty for my trench coat, and I'm making the Christina Hayes. It begins with an E I something. It's, it's, it's Terra Trench Coat. I'll pop it up underneath just to tell you exactly what it is and I'll pop a picture up as well. And it's uh, Rachel's going for the full on 
all guns blazing. Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget type <laughs> trench coat. I'm trying, I'm trying to recreate a, a trench coat I had a few years ago. I had this bright orange Mac that I bought from Gap. Which is very plain at the front, just double but double buttons and that kind of shape, and it's exactly the same as this Christina Hayes pattern. So I'm trying to recreate it because I loved that coat. Yeah. I don't know why I ever threw it away. I don't know. I must have given it away or thrown it away. Yeah. But it was the, the fabric was out. going on. Yeah, probably. I think I did. Um. So I've bought this red, bright red twill. Is it um, a cappuccino? Oh no, it's a cappuccino. Is it a gab It is a cappuccino. I it just remember you telling me you'd ordered a cappuccino. It was a cappuccino. So it was a Gabbertino from Also Craft Day. Eh? Yeah. And it was five, six pounds a metre. I think it's even less than that because you might showed it to been. me and I'm sure it was four pounds something. It I might remember have been. Thinking, well, very that's cheap. Than very, very I've cheap. Seen. And I've gone for, again, we're great showmen again. I've gone for this, the lining. It's going to be awesome. Because if you can't go for a crazy lining, what's the matter with you? Yeah. So that's going to be a bit wild on the inside. Love but it. nice on the outside. But Can I, think... I just make a suggestion that for me, this is crying out to have piping between the lining and the facings yeah. in like one of the other colours, purple, orange. Purple. Yes. Yes, definitely. It's going to be lovely. I need to buy buttons for it. I've downloaded the pattern, haven't printed it yet, but we are going to give you we're we're going to do do another video, video we? all about what we're planning on doing, so giving you lots of details on that as well. And then I had another parcel, <laughs> which was from Fabworks, because they had their, you mentioned the other day that they had their sale on. On their world. And I just needed a little spend. So I just decided to go a bit crazy. Some of these were in the sale, some of them weren't. <laughs> that's what always So happens. that's what always happens. I just went, oh, I want that. Anyway, <laughs> they're not expensive. Fabrics aren't expensive for the quality of fabric that you get. No. So I think it is, if you're going to order, I think it's worth getting a few things that you wouldn't normally get. So I've got this lovely I can't even remember what it is. I'll have to pop a link up underneath as to what it is. It's definitely a wool blend. You it's can tell that by suiting yeah, or something like that. And it like feels that. like it's felted. Um, it feels can, like it's some sort hear? of flannel. Um, it's quite, but it's it's lovely. That I was thinking trousers because I thought it would be like really good sort of um, pleats and things like oh, that it'd be in brilliant it. Brilliant for anything like that. So with structure and detail. Something with structure. I'm not quite sure exactly what, but I've got two meters of that. Yes. I think I've got two meters of I'm everything. I'm going to sit here and stroke, stroke that down. Like a bond villain. <laughs> and then uh, this is another trouser for That's fabric. my cat. This is my bond cat. Which has got all of these little flecks of colour in it. And again, I was thinking trousers with braces. Yes. With as well. Yes. So this is, these are definitely trousers. But I know they're winter colours. All those skirt with braces would be just as awesome. And nice yes. As well. yes. So something something like that I'm going to make out of this one. Um, but I am, th I am thinking for next winter is what I'm thinking. I'm guessing really, really organised. And then it goes into coat categories. So these are all sort of coatings and jacketing fabrics that I bought. And they were all in the sale. Excellent. And they were all an absolute bargain. And I've got two metres of each of these. Mm. So I'm making quite a few coats and jackets. So this is like, looks like a boucle. Yeah. And it is just lovely. Um, so that might be some kind of, maybe it's like a, almost like a Chanel jacket or something like that. I need yeah, to make that'd out of it. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, really good Something with a soft fit. Yeah. Um, but I'll, I'll link them all underneath. And then this one. I'll just. <laughs> look at that colour. Now, I've only just realised this now, but isn't this exactly the same fabric? that you made your coat last year out of, except for you had the peacock, and this is the cobalt. Oh, it might be. Look at look at the... It looks very it looks similar. It's exactly the same. It's the selvage made me think of it, but it's this sort of almost it's flat very soft. Yeah, like it's almost like it's been felted. Yes. But it's very lovely, and I think that was five pounds a metre. It was just Gorgeous. something ridiculous. Um, so that, just the colour Is that going to be that cocoon coat that yes. you showed me? The so different cocoon coat. Well, in my head, when I was ordering it, they're all going to become that cocoon coat. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my reason for ordering. I'm not going to make three of them, but I think this Which one, well. this one probably is. But I love this next this favorite, one. This has been it? my favourite because it was a it was a last minute. Oh yeah, bugger that! I'll have that. As and well. that was like reduced to five pounds a meter. This is a meter. It's so stiff, like it's like like to stand up on oh, its own. It feels lovely though. But it's proper. It's proper heavy duty stuff, and I just yeah, love I think the big squares worsted. on it. it. Feels like a worsted. I think it might be a worsted wool, but it's just beautiful, just lovely. Look at that. I like I've it both sides anything. too yeah. as well. Show them the other side. It's just all purples on the yeah. other side. I've never seen anything with that kind of 
You know, it's a check. It is mm. a check. Yeah. But I've never but seen it's anything like a window like pane check. It's yes. really cool. It's really lovely. And I like yes. the dark grey, but that little that little hint of dark red. And that was it. So that was our That was whistle. all. That was all. That was all. I'll just have to find somewhere to put it now. Yes. <laughs> Sneak it into so a cupboard somewhere. We're, we're putting this video out as a warning. If yeah. you happen to be in Fabric Land in Bristol at the same time that we are, you do not want to be in the queue behind no. us. Because we're holding two rolls and then we get to the counter and then we do like a tag team. So Nikki stands there while I go and get four more. And then I stand there while she goes and gets four more. And then usually we've got about 20. And, then and the poor people behind reach. us are just shaking their heads and thinking, the you lady, tricked us. The lady at the front of the queue every time i went past her she said that lady in the red coat's nearly finished she was like right trying to reassure our toddler look that lady in the red coat she's gonna be finished in a minute and i'm thinking we're really not <laughs> <laughs> another 20 minutes maybe <laughs> So yeah, we're yeah. all high and elated Come for on. fabric shopping, which Come often on. happens. So uh, so we thought we'd make a quick video, show you all our goodies, and hopefully we'll be able to bring you some videos soon when we've actually sent actually you made things. something. Yes. <laughs> Either that or the stash <laughs> is going to be looking very healthy. Yes, definitely, it's looking healthy already. Excellent. But I'll see you soon, guys. Right, go and pick up the kids. Yes. Bye. Bye.